Good morning. Good to study God's Word with you today. Today we're studying the Gospel lesson, which for the week was John chapter 17, verses 20 through 26. I'm going to read the first three verses here. My prayer, Jesus is speaking here, my prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I in them, and you in me. May they be brought to complete unity, to let the world know that you sent me, and have loved them even as you have loved me. Jesus here, praying the night of his arrest, and right before he's arrested, and crucified and what's going through his mind and you know as the son of man he prays to the father but as son of god he he knows what he knows the suffering and he knows the the pain he knows what's he knows what lies ahead and what is going through his mind well you were i was praying for all those who would believe in him praying for us to be strong in our faith, praying for us to continue to be unified to him as Jesus is unified to the Father, connected, and praying that we be united together as believers in faith. Uh, it's a humbling feeling, I think, to know that as much as Jesus was going to suffer here and what is going through his mind, well... You were, and I was. That just shows the depth of God's love for us, his children. Shows us that even in the darkest times for him, Jesus still had that perspective to care and think of others. And he prays for us that as his followers, we may now let the world know about his love for us. So today, ponder that love that Jesus had for you. In the hardest of earthly moments for him, um, he was still thinking of you, praying for you, praying that you would be his now and always. And then may we have that perspective as we go through our day to, to go through the ups and the downs, to not lose sight of who we are, but to focus and know that in all things that we do, we are serving our Heavenly Father. And through that, may more people see the love, the love of our God that we know is ours through Jesus our Savior. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we, we marvel at your love for us. The fact that you chose us, that you think about us, that you love us, that you want us to be yours now and always. Lord, we thank you for the relationship we have with you and we ask that you allow us to have that perspective throughout our day, to know that we are serving you, that we are following you, that we are your children. And through our lives, may you bring others to see the love that you have for them as well. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just an announcement on the uh, the pig roast this Saturday. Uh, it will be at 530 at church. Uh, so if you signed up, great. Look forward to seeing you. If you didn't, uh, come on out. It should be... Uh, you know, looks like the weather is going to be nice. So we'll probably set up some tables inside, outside. I'll do a kind of a summer picnic type style here. And uh, all the money raised will go towards our youth group's trip to the youth rally uh, this summer down in Tennessee. So pray that you can join us. If you have any questions about it, don't hesitate to reach out. So with that, God's blessings on your day.